In this video, we'll review how you can work with multiple OneNote accounts. Now, I primarily use OneNote for work, but I do sometimes use OneNote for personal projects. I can simply create a new notebook under my work account and simply label it either personal or home. But in this case, the notebook would be saved to my organization's SharePoint site and the information would not be truly private. So in this case, it makes sense to have a separate OneNote account that is linked to my personal Microsoft account. Using multiple OneNote accounts can be a great way to keep your work notes and your personal notes separate. Okay, I'm gonna assume that you have at least one Microsoft OneNote account. The easiest way to create another account is to click on your profile picture on top. If you don't have your photo added in, you might just see your initials here. I'm currently logged into my work account. I'm gonna click on add an account and I can either sign into my existing personal account or if I don't have one created yet, I can click on create one here. Since I do have a personal account, I'm just gonna put my login. Hit next. Now for me, it didn't ask for a password because I think I'm already logged in through my Edge browser, but you might be prompted for one. And just to make sure that we are logged into the two accounts, click on your, in this case, I'm seeing the initials instead of my picture because I didn't add one yet. If I click on it, I do see that I'm logged into my personal as well as my work account here. Now, before you create a new notebook, you need to make sure that you have selected the correct profile first. Right now, I have my personal profile selected. I can always toggle back and forth between the work profile being the primary, now you see my picture, versus now my personal account being primary. The reason why this matters is if you go to create a new notebook, so let's say I'm gonna go to hit the drop down here to add a new notebook. Since I have my personal profile selected now, it gives me the option to create the notebook in my personal OneDrive. Now, if I were to exit out of this and select my work profile, and I do the same, I go back to creating a new notebook. Now, it gives me the option to add the notebook into either my organization's OneDrive or to their SharePoint site. And in both cases, you do have the option to save the notebook to your local hard drive as well, but then you lose out on the automatic sync and you would be unable to access your notes across the multiple devices. Now, if you have multiple active notebooks across the two different accounts or multiple accounts, it can be confusing to know which notebook belongs to which account. So the way I do this is if you actually go to your list of notebooks and just hover over the notebook. And I'm sorry, I have to blur out parts of the, the path here, but I can easily see which one belongs to my personal versus my work account. And another way to do this is to actually just go to file, info, and then you have the different active notebooks listed and you can see the path here. And again, I'm sorry that I have to blur parts of this out, but anything that has my.sharepoint.com, I know belongs to my work account. And anything that has the onedrive.live.com belongs to my personal account. And to go step further, you can actually change the color of the notebook. So if I were to click on any of the notebooks here, hit the drop down, go to properties, and let me drag this in over from the other monitor. Uh, I can change the color of the notebook. So maybe I can make all of my work notebooks blue and all of my personal notebooks red. And that way it's very easy for me to tell. Otherwise you can use a very specific naming convention for your notebook. For your display name, you can start with W for all of your work notebooks and then P for your personal notebooks. Now that you have set up your multiple accounts and your multiple notebooks, and now that you can tell them apart, you can seamlessly jump around from one notebook to the other. So for example, if I, again, click on the drop down here, this is my work notebook. 
if I wanted to copy this file over to my personal, I just have to right mouse click, choose mover copy. And then from the dialog box, I could navigate to my personal notebook, which is down here and go to the appropriate section. And then in this case, I'll just copy it over. Now, when I go down to my personal notebook and within the area section, I can see that the note page has been copied over. For those of you who may be leaving your organization and want to take some of your personal notes with you, this would be a quick and easy way. Of course, you'd have to follow your organization's policies in terms of handling of files and proprietary information. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind is when you're using tools like the Web Clipper on your browser or even using your iPhone OneNote app, make sure that you're logged into all of your accounts. So one for work, one for personal, or if you have even more accounts than that, make sure that you're logged into all of them to ensure that you have access to all of your notebooks. And it'll be important that you select the correct notebook to uh, save your web clippings or your photo or notes into. And another thing to keep in mind is that when you're using OneNote at work on an enterprise account, you rarely think about storage capacity. But when you're using a personal account, you're only allotted five gigs for the free plan. So if you think you're going to be saving a lot of notes, including multimedia files like video files, pictures, and audio clippings, then you may consider upgrading to a basic plan, which will get you 100 gigs of storage, uh, which should be planned for most of you. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you give it a like and consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this. And if you're interested in more OneNote tips, make sure that you check out these videos next. <laughs>